Come, come on. Come on. Come on. In the face. <laughs> yeah. That's it. All right. We'll go. <laughs> this is where we go after every practice, basically. We get our necessities, and uh, then we go back to rock. It fuels our brains. I started taking all these supplements, and I don't think I can even name them all, but I'll see what I can. This is what I've been taking every night. I missed it last night, so I'm doing it this morning. You're high. Why do you catch me shit talking? Everybody. <laughs> I'd like to give a big fuck you for my equipment tonight. Last night we had a show in New York and my aunt was like trying to be, you know, me and Mike are trying to be on time, and we're rushing, we're rushing, we're rushing around, and we figure we've got five minutes, right? We're going to smoke a cigarette. I have no cigarettes. So we have to go to this little deli in New York. Are they going to have American Spirit Ultralights? Yes. As a matter of fact, they have American Spirit Ultralights. We buy two also Starbucks Frappuccino cold drinks, right? We enjoy a cold Starbucks Frappuccino in the little bottle and smoke a cigarette. We breathe deep. We have our crib in there. So that's that. So we light a cigarette and I try to open my Frappuccino. But it's got a little plastic seal on it. And you know how sometimes you can break that seal by unscrewing the cap? Not the case with this drink. Plastic seal is tough. So I end up having to peel the little part in the middle to take it off. Then, of course, you need to shake your frappuccino. I didn't realize, however, I didn't remember that I had tried to unscrew it. So the cap was kind of off and I shook it vigorously. I just can't thereby sending ropes of frappuccino all over my face. But my hand was going with such momentum that I couldn't really stop it. It was like so by the time I was done, there was this much frappuccino left. It was all over my face, all over my fucking scarf, all over Mike's drums, all over everything. We had to go inside and ask the guy to borrow paper towels to clean off our stuff. And ultimately, I had to come in and wash my face and my hair and my scarf in the sink. And that's what happened. So, check it out. Come, You got a good view of this? This is these green, yeah, these green ones are a multivitamin called Vitalia. Whoops. <clears throat> Rich in biotin, which is according to the back of the bottle, the world's greatest supplement. So, there we go. Yeah. Because there ain't no competition. Yo, that's my mirror. Pete claimed that mirror. I'm an artist. Beautiful, man. <laughs> Dude, that is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> All right. Pete, you have a tail. I know. I definitely oh, have. Oh, don't even. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> Too bad because it's his signature thing. I'm gonna shake this and like put it all over myself. Do you know that I did it again after that? Except I did it with a bottle of ketchup at a diner. The top was off and I was like... And it was like... Everywhere. Within like the same week. Okay, um... This is uh, flaxseed oil. 1000 milligrams. It's a big, big ass pill.
Notice I'm doing this with coffee and donuts. <laughs> the makers of these supplements would not be pleased. You can write it in blood. He'll cut his arm open for you. He runs into the woods and then they try to chase him into the woods. And then he kills everybody. <laughs> Apparently. I don't know. We gotta watch that movie. Yeah, it's totally. Hot. So yeah, it's like it takes place in like Oregon. Yeah, but that's like a high powered microwave. Like you don't want to see what's going on inside. It's like a miniature like atomic explosion. Yeah, Del Sol. I'm cold. Let me in. I'm cold. I'm freezing. Yo, did you really just get me drying on my film? <laughs> Rock and roll is a sweaty business. That's the problem with this. Del Frutal, which means of the Frutal. This is our first time in Mexico City, actually. Yeah. I like it here. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's where I am.